Alright, something I've been waiting for finally came into the mail. Here it is, it's internationally tracked. Came from the UK, I believe. I've got confirmation from my buddy Jim that it works. Uh, Jim is on the Facebook group. He's been helping me a lot. And he just got his hooked up, I believe, yesterday. Here's the plug. What does that look like? Is that a display plug? Here's what's in the little box. What is it? Ta-da! This is called an egg rider. Could you imagine this little device does so many things? Well, I'm going to show you today, and we're going to go over all of it after I get it installed. We'll go over how to configure it, how it works, the differences it makes, and it should just be plug and play. I know this isn't exactly what you wanted in regards to increasing the speed with the right deal. You wanted me to magically cut a wire on the controller to make the bike go faster. While that very well may be possible, I found a solution that works even better. I really wanted a screen in my bike so I could know exactly what my speed was and my mileage was at any given time. While achieving that, I get to enjoy the benefits of increased torque and faster top speed. Keep this in mind, this is a little pricey and you won't get it delivered promptly like Amazon or eBay, but it is totally worth the wait and totally worth the investment. So let's get started with the test footage first, and at the end of the video I'll go through all of the steps on how to upgrade your firmware, configure the device, and all the settings that you need to change to make it work. We're getting about 20 223 miles an hour throttle only, so let's try PAS5 here. Is it working? Okay, PAS is not working. Okay, let's see if that does anything. Yep, there we go. I missed one of the settings. Alright, I figured it out. So I'll, uh, I'll put the settings for this in my video so you guys can see it. I think I'm going to have to change my cassette to a higher gear or a lower gear so that I can pedal while I'm hitting that top speed. So normally you could only hit 20. I'm getting close to 25. All right, this part right here is flat. So 24 according to the app. PAS 5, almost 25. Oh, we got 25 with a slight downhill. So almost 25 according to the app. So let's put on the GPS. And now we'll do throttle only. Back and forth if I need to. Egg Rider says 23, GPS is 20, oh. Egg Rider says 24, GPS is 25. 
so it's about a mile off. You get about the same with PAS and throttle only. Now, I could show you what each PAS level can do, but you can adjust them, so I'm not really going to do that. I got PAS 5 set to 100. And then you can go in and change whatever level you want for your other ones. Alright, so let's do PAS 5 with the app. Alright, PAS 5, here we go. Let's see what we get. And this should tell us how much it's off. Slightly uphill here. Straight level ground here, kind of level. Little bit of a decline here. Very windy, hopefully my new mic is working out good. So it does look like the egg rider's off about a mile, mile and a half, mile per hour and a half. Again, I think I can adjust that. We'll have to mess with that later. I'll go down one more time and try it. Yeah, in the sun, direct sun, you cannot see the egg rider at all. Uh, let me put on my hood real quick. Do you have a hood that I printed yesterday? Let's see how much that helps. So a little 3D printed piece that I made that I got off Thingiverse. Oh yeah, definitely a pretty good difference here. So you guys might even be able to see it now. I don't know if it's doing that weird. With certain screens you can't see the display with the camera. But my other camera definitely saw it good. I recorded the whole process. Yeah, the sun hood works pretty good. Alright, so let's see what we get. PAS5. Slightly downhill. These guys over here doing the roof or whatever they're doing over there. Probably think I'm crazy going back and forth. <clears throat> slight decline, very slight decline. But this will get us a good idea of what it can do. It flattens off right about here. Yeah, so uh, it's fairly close. 24, 25 miles an hour. I will be doing a range test. Because I already did a range test with uh PAS5, well, almost all of them. <laughs> so we'll be able to compare. I'll do a range test with the egg rider and we'll compare numbers. So yeah, if you, uh, yeah, let me take this off, it might be easier to see. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but when you push and hold this button right here, the M, it brings up all kinds of stats. So your trip, 3.4 miles, 
uh, wheel horsepower per mile, milliamp hour for that trip, and it has total. Shows all kinds of stuff. Firmware version. So that's pretty neat. So right now I got 59% battery. Shows your max amps, miles per hour, voltage, percentage of battery, average wheel horsepower per mile. I don't know if that's average, that might be average speed. And then if you hit this button, it changes it from off-road to on-road. Uh, if you push and hold the bottom button, it turns on the headlight and tail light. If you push and hold the bottom button again, it turns it off. Now, this turns the bike off completely. Let's see if it reset everything. So that's total mileage. And it did not reset the trip. So I think you can go in and program that so that it resets every time you turn on the uh, bike. So I may set that up so that I don't have to worry about resetting the trip every time. So the very first thing you're going to be prompted to do when you install the egg rider is to upgrade the firmware. So you want to hold the up and power button at the same time to get into this screen. Now if you don't have the Egg Rider app, you'll need to go download that. Also you'll want to download the NRF Connect app, which is going to allow you to update the firmware on the Egg Rider. So once you open up the Egg Rider app, it's going to connect and then it's going to tell you to update the firmware. So just hit OK. You'll need to activate the device, so click on Activate Now. And then you'll enter in your information, so order number, the email you used to order, where you bought it, so Egg Rider. And you can name it for your bike, I just put Ride Deal. And then you'll click on Activate, and it will activate the device. And then you're ready to upgrade the firmware. Again, you'll want to download the app called NRF Connect, which is basically going to allow you to update the firmware on the Egg Rider. So I'm going to walk you through that process. So we'll exit out of this, open up the Egg Rider app, and go get the firmware file. So you just click the hamburger menu at the top left, go to the About section. You'll see a button that says Download Section. That will take you to the firmware download. Click on the Stable Release. In this version, it's 2.5.61 stable.zip. Click on it once. Now you have to do this in Chrome. If you don't have Chrome, you're going to have to download Chrome. But the Chrome browser, you'll have to go to this Bitbucket and then download the firmware. Once it's downloaded, click on Open In, and then you'll search for the app, and you have to scroll all the way over to More, and then just open it in NRF Connect. Once in NRF Connect, you'll scroll down the list until you see Egg Rider BL, and then you'll click on Connect. Then it's gonna take you to this screen. You go up to the very top menu, Click on DFU, which is Download Firmware Update. Once you go in there, you should see your firmware that you just downloaded. And once you get to this point, the three buttons at the bottom, you'll click on the blue one that says Start, and that will send the firmware to the Egg Rider. Then you'll return to the Egg Rider app, and your firmware should be updated. And then you're ready to configure the Egg Rider. So go back to the main menu by hitting those little three icons where I pointed the arrow to. And this is just an overview of all the rides that you did. I didn't do this many rides, but I was testing. You can go in and see all kinds of data, and you can populate any of the data that you want, so you can choose and pick whatever you want. And it's really cool because you can go back and see what you did for your ride and how fast you got, how many miles you went, how much power you were using, things like that. And you can download that data. So what we're gonna do is go through and configure the device and here's all the different settings that we need to change. So the first setting we need to change is preferred units. If you're in the United States, you'll wanna to go to Imperial. 
If you're in another country that uses the other metric system, you'll choose that. The protocol, you're going to choose Lishu RXTX swap. I don't know how you pronounce that. Um, you can change your power off level where it says after two hours. You can change that to whatever you want. So it'll automatically shut off after two hours. And that's what I chose just in case I accidentally left it on. Mode labels, you can change that if you want. Assist levels, um, you can do three, five, or nine. So choose whichever one you want. Main screen V2 is my favorite screen, but there is a V1, so you can choose between those two. V1's a little bit simpler. Keep your headlight on at startup. I have that set to yes. So if I left my headlight on, I turn the bike off, I turn the bike back on, it'll turn the headlight back on. Pretty neat. Set your max speed road and off-road to 70 so you don't have to worry about it. Now you can change it so you have a road setting and an off-road setting. It's totally up to you on what you want to do. And then finally you have wheel size. And if you choose whatever wheel size, it should automatically populate the wheel circumference. The circumference is in millimeters. So I have mine set to 2135 millimeters. I would suggest do that if you have a ride deal. And then once you're done, click on right, and that will save those settings to the egg rider. Next thing we'll want to do is configure the power levels. So go to your menu and click on power levels. So this has four sections for each power level. One is for off-road, one is for on-road, one is for PAS, and one is for throttle. So PAS and throttle on on-road and PAS and throttle on off-road. You can configure this however you want, but I did it in 10 percent increment so 20 percent 30 40 and so on and this is pretty close to factory and you can go in and tweak this to whatever you want you can literally set the power level for every single pas level now when you're finished configuring this remember to hit right at the bottom and we'll go to the next menu so now we'll go to the lishui settings i really don't know how to pronounce that you want to change the pas type to right because the sensor is on the right hand side Speed sensor set to 1. Voltage cutoff is 42 volt. You go down to assist delay. You can change that if you want. It delays when it starts to kick in. PAS gain, you want to set that to 255. Throttle limit by PAS level, you can change that to yes if you want. And you can limit the throttle to 6 kilometers per hour. Then you scroll down. You can change your PAS startup acceleration if you'd like to. Current limit, you want to set 15 and then 31, so minimum, maximum. Wheel size, 26 inches. You can change this, so maybe adjust the miles per hour up one so that it's accurate. And then speed limit, you want to set both of those to 41. That's the highest you can do. Now, cruise does not work with the Rideal as of right now. I checked with the Rider. They said it's not compatible with all model bikes. And then when you're done with this, hit right. And that's how you configure the Egg Rider. All right, I got a deal for you guys. I worked with Egg Rider to get us a coupon code to save us a little bit of money. So this is all in euros. It's about $11.50 of savings. All you do is go to shop.eggrider.com and then you go look for the Egg Rider V2 Bluetooth e-bike display. Click on add to cart. You'll need to choose the bike type. For us, we'll choose the Chewy. Mobile app operating system, pick whichever one you have. iOS is what I have. And then add to cart. Once you've added the egg rider to your cart, you're going to need to register for an account. So go up to the top where it says welcome guest. Click on register. Fill out all your information. All right, once you're logged in, go back up to the top where it has the cart. And click on view cart. And then you'll click on use coupon code. Put in Randy Rides. Click on Apply Coupon. And that will take 10 euros off the cost of the device. Once you check out, the first 10 people to use this code will get a $10 coupon. That's 10 euros. So roughly uh, $11.50 in savings. Hopefully that works out for you guys. At least the first 10 people so here it is i've added a few things since you guys 
last seen it in the video. Um, I think I've taken pictures, but so here's a couple of the mods I've done to the bike. A new headlight, there's a whole video about that on my channel. I added these little rubber brake things. Uh, they're pretty neat looking. Got the blue grips, uh, foam grips. I'll put a link to all this stuff too, as usual, in the description. I did the reflective custom reflective tape looks like some of it was coming off um, this stuff's really cool because it's really reflective and it looks pretty cool so there's that I added blue pedals which are metal and they got little spikes on them and that actually this is the first time I rode with these on and they work really well um, I made these three printed name plates that I zip tied on here um, I created these printed them out I got a gold one too just to kind of compare I'll show you that I pulled that out here of my bag I was trying to figure out if I like the black or the gold better because you know there's gold accents on the bike like the logo and stuff but there's that I still haven't decided which one I want to use so I've been kind of keeping it in there but we got a nameplate here and the nameplate over here we have more rim tape on this one and I've added the fenders you guys saw that video too but here's the fenders and then my rear rack with the bag and the panniers. Panniers are new to you guys. I don't think you've seen that yet. And then today, the egg rider, which is really awesome. And the handlebars, which I made a video about. I mean, there's videos about pretty much everything on this bike if you want to go back through and see it. But added a mirror, Cloud 9 seat new bag this is actually going to get changed I got something else coming for you guys that you'll really enjoy but this is the uh, bike it looks pretty good it's turning out really nice I added these little these came with the wheel reflectors so uh, I think the custom Taylor custom 33 or something like that I'll uh, link those in the description to you. Those are really nice for night riding. They're really, really reflective. And that's pretty much everything for that. I wanted to just give you a shot of the bike with everything on here. I have not shown you much of it in my videos because I'm usually just on my bike. But that's it. What do you think this is? Looks like something for the battery, right? Well, we'll talk about this in my next video.